Scroby Sands, three kilometres off Great Yarmouth on the easternmost tip of England, is a 30 turbine wind farm that generates up to 60 megawatts of electricity, enough to supply over 40,000 homes. It was Britain's largest offshore wind farm when it was commissioned in 2004. Dan Woodman's company, ODE, oversaw the construction. ODE had never project managed a wind farm before, but with a strong track record in the offshore oil and gas industry, it was able to make the transition with relative ease. ODE has been involved in the design, building, support of offshore facilities and structures in the energy business for 25 years or so. And also a crucial part of that is uh, environmental issues and health and safety issues. So all of those skills and abilities which we've developed over the years are, if you like, directly related and transferable to the offshore wind farm renewable energy industry. So it became a, it was a natural progression from the oil and gas business to the renewables business. Great Yarmouth and the nearby town of Lowestoft are fast developing as centres of excellence in the design, construction and maintenance of wind farms based on the skills already built up over 40 years of servicing the offshore oil and gas rigs. The economic benefits to the region are already substantial and set to grow even further. Michael Moll is the UK manager of a multinational project part funded by the European Union called POWER. I suppose in the end for each region it's very much about generating employment which is very important as the project brings together coastal regions, a lot of them um, with harbour towns in decline and it's much in need of regeneration and the offshore wind sector offers a unique opportunity to create new employment. In fact our a study under power has um, indicated that there might be something like 5,000 jobs in the power regions alone in the next five years uh, created in the offshore wind sector. So it's a massive opportunity. Lowestoft College attracts more than 16,000 students a year. It specializes in maritime safety training and it's home to the survival tank, a purpose-built facility that simulates the environment at sea in varying weather conditions. Wind, rain and wave generators can produce the effect of a severe storm in daylight or at night, but with the ability to switch it off in just a few seconds. It allows teams of offshore construction workers to practice survival techniques in perfect safety but with a high degree of realism, including being winched into and out of a helicopter. John Best is the chief executive of the East of England Energy Group, an umbrella organization representing six local counties dedicated to promoting offshore industries with its European partners. The UK, and particularly this area in East of England, has a huge amount of knowledge in terms of putting structures offshore in the water, in the marine elements. And if we can share the learning between the countries in a positive way, then I think it helps to, uh, for us all to work together, but also to see where we can collaborate rather than simply compete. Sustainable energy is one of the strategic issues for the UK in the years to come. Projects like power are playing a vital role in planning for it today.